Welcome to Twitter, located at twitter.com. And by now, I'm sure you've heard of Twitter over the past few years. It's certainly grown in popularity. Just about everyone has a Twitter account that you can see in the media. And pretty much every business, every news organization, just about everyone has a Twitter account now. What I'm going to do in this video is show you kind of a little bit about what it's about, why it's important for educators to check out Twitter, um, and to show you how to create an account. So to do that, I'm just going to click on, this is the home page, I'm just going to click on one of these uh, Twitter accounts down here just to get an idea. I'm going to click on, this looks like it's Christian Emin Poor, the reporter from CNN. Just kind of give you an idea of what the basic structure is. This is her Twitter account. And each Twitter account has a profile picture, a profile uh, statement, which is right here. And also, what you're seeing down here is what we call the Twitter feed. These are all the updates that she has made. Um, she's made, looks like, at least six or seven just today. And what it is, every update is 140 characters long at the maximum. It can be shorter than that. And it's just a short little blurb about what they are doing or what they're thinking or something they want to share. And so in her Twitter feed, she, of course, does a lot of reporting. And so she is, uh, that's exactly what she's sharing. Other people share different things, celebrities, sports teams, your friends. Um, they will share whatever is important to them. Now, why is this important? Uh, it's really just a really great way to connect. And as a teacher, you have a lot of great resources. There are a lot of really good teachers out there on Twitter. And they're sharing strategies. They're sharing resources. They're sharing links and they can help you uh, get through lessons, they can help you plan things and give you ideas you hadn't thought about. So it's a really great way to connect with other educators. I'm going to introduce you to this page real quick to kind of give you more of an idea of this. This is a guy named Cybrary Man. He's a uh, librarian and he has created a Twitter page that I think is really cool. Uh, it shows a lot of the different chats and it's a good place to start to find people to follow. What you want to do, you go to cybraryman.com C-Y-B-R-A-R-Y man.com. Click on educators and what you're going to see is educational, educational chats and also Twitter. If I click on Twitter it's going to give you a bunch of links um, to show you a lot of different things that you can learn about Twitter, you know, how to conduct yourself, people to follow, why you should be using it, etc, etc. I'm going to go back. I want to show you this educational chats. One thing that happens on Twitter, and we'll talk about this more when we get into the basics and beyond the basics, are you can have chats based on hashtags. These are these number sign followed by letters. So for example, this is LM chat. This is elementary chat. If I click on this, it's going to take me to um, elementary chat page. And if I go to Twitter and I put that tag in Twitter and search for it, it will give you all the tweets that go along with that hashtag. So I'm going to go back to, there's a bunch of them here. We'll talk about that more in and in beyond the basics. But I want to go back to Twitter and just to give you an idea, I'm going to click on search Twitter. And I'm going to put in EdChat, which is one of the most popular ones. What you're going to find is you're going to find a bunch of educators talking about education. Uh, sharing links, sharing surveys, sharing ideas, and discussing topics that are relevant to our education system. What I suggest is before you create an account, look over EdChat, look over some of these other chats in the Cyberian Man's catalog. In fact, here he is right here. And see if you can find people to follow. See if you can find people that you think are interesting. Just get a taste for what Twitter is all about. Do some reading and kind of see, is this something I want to get into? Is this something I want to take a look at? I think the more you read and the more you explore, the better chance you'll have of actually diving in and giving it a try. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Twitter, and I'm just going to show you real quick how to create an account. Um, it just asks for your first name, email address. I'm going to go with teachertechvids at gmail.com. No, you cannot know my password. And sign up. It's going to give you a chance to give a username. All right. So I've got my name. Everything looks good. But the username is what you want to do. When you go to choose a username, try to do something that's specific to you. Uh, mine is EdTechSteve. Um, I'm going to do Teacher Tech Vids because that's what this account is going to be called. But do something that identifies yourself and even better could identify you as an educator. I'm going to go ahead and use Teacher Tech Vids. Let's see if it's even available. 
hope no one took my okay there it is <laughs> and I'm gonna create my account and here I am it's gonna give you some ideas of people people that you might want to follow and it's gonna give you some ideas of how to get started and here I am I'm logged in teacher tech bids so we'll start here in the next video the basics on how to get started diving in and and uh, starting to post and follow some people mm -hmm.